my name is Tom and in this short video I'll be showing you how to use the Sangoma desktop software. Now I'll show you the Sangoma desktop app. So here you can see we're going to go through all five menus here at the top. The first one here is activity. Now this gives you a brief overview of what calls you can, you've can you made or what you've received and all your recent activity is in there. Moving on to the next one, this is your keypad. So it's used like a traditional phone. You can either type by clicking using the mouse or you can type by using the keyboard numbers. If you make a mistake, you can use this X arrow here just to delete what you've made. Moving on to the next at the top here. You can see this is your call history. So there is all your calls in here. So that's received calls, sent calls and missed calls. As you can see, the ones with the green arrow going outward there, they're the ones that you've sent. The green arrow coming back in here, they're the ones that you've received. And the one with the red tick arrow there are the ones that you have missed. You can also see these by clicking the miss tab here and that'll show you all your missed calls together. Moving on to the voicemail. As you can see, it looks like this. If there's an orange indicator lie, that means there's a voicemail in there and you'll see it in there too. So you can either press the play button to listen to it and there's a length, or you can press the bin button to delete here. Once listened, you can delete and just press confirm in there. So this last tab here is your search tab. So you can search whatever numbers you want in here or recent contacts. Here is your preferences. As you can see, you're set to available. You can switch that to do not disturb if you don't want to receive calls. And you can simply click it back to available if you wish to receive calls again. So now I'll show you how to make and receive calls. You go to the keypad here, type in your number like normal, press the green button. Up here, you'll flash at the top, see showing that you're making a call. Here you can see this box that appears. So the symbol on the left here is your mute key. So they won't be able to hear you, but you'll still be able to hear them. To the right here is your on hold key. So they won't be able to hear you and also you won't be able to hear them this time. Here you just press the hang up key when you wish to finish the call. Now to receive a call, you wait for the call to come in. You'll see here it flashes up at the top. You press the green button here to answer and it gives you the same menu as before with your mute and your on hold key there. If you wish to finish the call, all you simply do is press the red button. That'll end the call. Now, if a call comes in and you wish to decline them straight away, you wait for the call to come up. All you do is press the red cross here, which will hang the call up immediately. So now I'll show you how to clear missed call notifications. You'll see they'll come up as orange dots on the top. One will be an activity here. The missed call will also show here in your call history in missed calls. And there may also be a voicemail left if the client has chose to do so. If you go back over to activity here, if you click the three dots there in the top right, if you mark all as red, this will get rid of the orange dot on activity. If you wish to get rid of the orange dot on voicemail, you can simply listen to the voicemail. So here you listen to the message. Once you have listened to the message, you can either keep the voicemail in there, but most people tend to delete the voicemail. So to do this, you simply press the bin icon here and press confirm. This will get rid of all missed call notifications. Hopefully you will have found this short video useful. If you would like more information or if you'd like to see more videos just like this one, please visit our website at www.time-tele.com and all of our day-to-day -day contact details can also be found here too. So thanks for watching and goodbye.